in the period leading up to the rising to 1916, what, what was the role and the extent of involvement of women in that, that advanced nationalist movement, if you like, that was, uh, was growing during that period? Um, well, just this rewind a little bit, that first of all you have a militant nationalist movement, uh, militant feminist movement in the Irish Women's Franchise League set up in 1908 mm -hmm. by women who, who see the Pankhurst organisation with its motto, Deeds Not Words, realise that the time for more militant action has come about because what you have by this stage is the recognition that a Home Rule Bill is going to come into Westminster, and definitely by 1910, when the Liberal government is a minority government um, held there by the Irish Parliamentary Party, and um, Home Rule is, is the condition for them supporting the Liberal government. The question is whether it will be Home Rule for Irish women as well as Irish men. And so you've got a campaign going on by feminists. You also have nationalist women who've been involved in Anini Heron since 1900, set up by Maud Gonn and other women, joined later on by militants like Helena Maloney. And through that, women be, start to become involved in the nationalist movement in a way they hadn't been able to before. Um, Jenny Wise Power, for example, then becomes vice president of Sinn Féin. Sinn Féin welcomes women. Um, and so you have women gradually being in, in the nationalist movement. They're very active in the Gaelic League. They're very active in cultural nationalism. Uh, and we can see that many of the women who later joined Cumann Amman have already been active in those kinds of arenas. So by 1914, uh, when the Irish Volunteers have been formed the year previously, you now have nationalist women forming their own Cumann Amman Irish Women's Council. And again, the name of Jenny Wise Power is so important. She is the first president. And mm. for several months before the formation of that organisation, you have herself and her colleagues talking to the volunteers because what they want really is incorporation into the volunteer movement with women on the executive. The volunteers aren't prepared to concede that. In fact, some of them feel that women don't need to be in an organisation. They can just collect money and roll bandages when asked. So you have problems for nationalist women and Cumann Amman becomes, as the women's auxiliary, a kind of compromise. And then you get the debate between nationalist women and feminist women as to where the, 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 the battleground is. Is it women first or the nation first? And that really become, comes to a head at the time of the Home Rule question. Mm -hmm.